Hello everybody, my name is Arif Khan, I'm with Bijli.org, and today we're going to be integrating Calendly with your ClickUp. Uh, if you ever use Calendly, you know that it creates invites, it's a great tool to have, it basically logs your uh, events into a calendar, and then you can track your calendars from there. But if you want to have that as part of your sales funnel, you can have it create a task in your management tool, and that's what we're going to be doing in this case, so that you can track your leads that way. In this case, I, I kind of want to just show you what the end goal is first. Uh, here's our website. And on our website, we have a consultation page where we have the Calendly uh, event um, selection or whatever you want to call this here. Um, and here you can basically select the date as a interested prospect. And you come here and let's just do a test. RF test or type my name, type in my email. All right, so now what, what, what this does basically is we have an automation running in Make, and that automation will basically create a task in our pipeline here. And so as you can see, I have, I've done two previous tests before, but you can see uh, we have the task name set as my name and then as the company. It has uh, when the event is. It also has the email company, lead temperature. These are all custom fields that we created. Uh, and also the link to the Canly event. So let's jump into this first. You're going to need to have Make, and then you're going to have to be able to connect it with either uh, ClickUp in this case, or Monday or Asana, whichever tool you're using. For this example, since we're using ClickUp as our management tool for our sales pipeline, we're going to be using uh, ClickUp, all right? So now I'm in Make. I'm going to select Create Scenario in this corner here. You want to make sure that when you create your scenario, you name it. So I'm going to name it uh, Calendly Demo, just for this case. We're going to first create a Calendly module, all right? And what this module is going to do is we're going to select Watch for Events. So basically what this module does is that it's going to be triggered for whenever an event is created. And in this case, an event is created when anybody selects a date on our website or on our Calendly uh, page here once once they fill out all the information here and they schedule an event, that's what's triggering that module and that's what it's watching for that. So let me select watch events. Now we're going to have to select a webhook. You're basically integrating your Calendly with Make and it's going to be pulling that data and you're, you're allowing it to pull that data from your Calendly basically. So let's create a webhook. Okay, so let's call this um, Calendly invite test or just demo just in case I already have it. I have my connection already created. This is fairly simple. You can already do this in the make settings or you can add it directly here. You have to select the event that it's going to be triggering for. You can have a trigger for events created or events canceled. So in this case, we're going to do it for events created and you're gonna to want to select your organization's URI. This is pretty straightforward. It's already gonna be there. Uh, we're gonna have select from list now, as you can see here in the webhook, when you're creating it, you have bold items here. All of these items are required. Anything that's not required is going to be not bolded. So we're going to save this webhook. Hit OK. And now we have our Calendly watching for events. OK. And so let's just do a test. I'm going to do run this module only. And so just to test this, let me do another test run and just fill out dummy data here. And if I go to my scenario, as you can see that that module has now been triggered and it's found the event. Now, what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be getting that event. So we're going to create another Canly module, get an event. And as you can see, the connection's already there. And what we're going to select as the event is the URI. Now, in this case, the URI is the event. And then if you look here, you also have the URI here. So you can select either or. You just have to make sure that it's your the URI that you selected in the watch events module. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit OK. OK, so now it's getting that event. So now we're going to have a router. And what a router does, it basically creates, it helps branch your automation out. And it creates separate paths that can be filtered and then you can gather that data. So we we're going to have three separate routes here. Our, our first route is going to be for our book of consultation. And so I need that information. Let me just do a run once. 
just so that we can gather that information. So let me do another test booking. And part of creating these automations is actually kind of testing it as you go. So I scheduled an event and now I have the, in, the data that I need. I have the module was triggered for when the event was created. This module is getting that event information, right? And if we look here, we have the event name, which is book a consultation with us. And so I'm going to be filtering, setting up a filter. So I'm going to be naming it the actual event name here. So book a consultation with us. So the condition is going to be the name of the second module uh, event name, which is going to be book a consultation. And it has to equal book a consultation with us. And now we're going to create a ClickUp module here. And we want it to create a task. What this module is going to be doing, it's going to be creating a task for whenever a book a consultation service Calendly event is created. Now I'm going to select my workspace. In this case, I am in the Bijli workspace in my ClickUp and I have Bijli pipeline. And then within it, within that space, I have a, a list called pipeline. So that's where I wanted to be creating the task basically. So Bijli's pipeline. And now it's going to be seeing what information I want. So task name, we want the task name to be the name and the company name. I have that output information here in this module and the question and answers that we have in my uh, form on Calendly is separated into two collections of data. So those collections of data are basically the fields of your form in your Calendly invite. Now our task name, we want it to be the guest name that we have. So let's look for that information. As you can see, it's the RF test name here. Now in our case, we're going to be mapping the data in those in the array of information that we gathered from Calendly so that it can pull the company name. So let's do get. So this basically kind of runs, runs you down through the formula of what that path should look like. So we want to do a, a, a complex array. So we're going to do get and then map. Now this uh, bubble here walks you through it pretty well. What we're going to do is select our key. So our key is the questions and answers that was found from the triggering event here. What we're going to do is semicolon. So what we want this formula to do is it's going to be pulling the answer and the position data. So if we look at this example here, we have our questions and answers again. And in this collection of data, we have an answer and a position. So if I come back here, we want answer and then position. You want it to be exactly how it's typed out there. And our answer in this case, if we look, is pulling from position zero. So we're going to put zero. And in this case, your index is going to be one. And here it tells you why uh, within the uh, make uh, information and you pop it up. Uh, the first item in the array is index one. So that's just data that uh, is kind of structured that way. And that's what, we're, what we'll be selecting. And that's the task name that we would like it to pull. And then now we have our custom fields that we need filled. In our case, we're going to be setting the lead temperature for whenever the uh, lead is created to warm. The source is going to be our source that we have in our drop down list and click up. This is just our already standard information that we already created. So we're filling out our custom information. Um, we have our company name that we want, which is going to be here. We have their email that we want to pull. And this is all data that you should have, that you should want. And then the meet ID will be the actual event uh, here, the join URL. Okay. And so our content will be the description. So in our case, we want the content to be the uh, information that they inputted 
uh, when they selected the form. In that form, we have an area where they provide a description of their business and what they would like us to perform uh, for them, whether it's a ClickUp implementation or some sort of custom automation. So in this case, the only thing that will be changing is the position of the data where it's pulling from. So the first position was zero, which was the question. Let me show you here of the company name. The second position that we will be pulling from is the number one, and that's what information, please share what you would like to discuss. And so that's going to be pulling that answer there. So the only thing we'll be changing here is one. Now we have our branch of information. In this example, I'm just gonna go through one branch. I already have the other branches created. So let's just go through that here. So this is our active automation that we have. We went through this entire route right here. We went through the book consultation with us. Now let's see our standard tool build out the information. Very similar again, it's going in the same workspaces, the same task name, the same content. The only real thing that we're changing is the custom field source that we've created. So now let's run this automation and let's show you how it works. So let me do another book of consultation. All right, now I'm going to schedule an event. Now let's refresh ClickUp. It should create the task here, like I showed you before. As you can see, it created our task here, uh, RFCon Visually Services with our company name. We have the email, the company, the lead temperature, the source of the booking, the Calendly invite, and then the status, uh, the date it was created, the due date, and the start date as well. And we like to have the status as listed as non-contacted uh, there. Now let me go into the details of that actual log within Make. So here is that historical data that we have. Let's see the details. What's really cool about Make is that it has a log of history so you can see what the automation was doing. It's really good for error handling. It shows you where the error was and where the mistakes were. That's one really good thing about Make that I like. If we look at that at the event that we just recently scheduled, we had the module that was watching for an event and it has the data that it was pulling, right? It has the information, it has the questions and answers that we want, and then it has all of the other information that we need. So now it got that event information and it gave us more details here. Uh, the details that it's giving us here is the type of Calendly booking we had, which is a book of consultation and when the start and when the start date is for that. Now, as you can see, it routed through here. What it did was the router again is a way to branch or give that path of information. And so we have book of consultation. It saw that the name equaled book a consultation with us. And so it created a task within ClickUp with that particular name and that subset of information that we would like. And that's how you integrate Calendly with your ClickUp or any other management tool that you would like. In this case, we use Make, which is a very custom automation service, very similar to Zapier, but it has a little bit more flexibility. Uh, here at Visually, we create custom automations and we build out management tool services such as ClickUp, Asana, Monday. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we have links in the description below for make.com. It'd be very great if you use that as well as ClickUp. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can contact us at visually.org or direct in the comments below. Thank you.